What we're going to be seeing tonight is a brand new print uh, that Chicago Film Society had commissioned. Um, it's actually kind of, it was kind of annoying. Uh, uh, if any time anyone in Chicago wants to show this movie, we have to get it from Hollywood. Um, so we're very happy to have a print uh, that lives in Chicago now um, and that we can screen many, many times after this. It'll last well beyond my lifetime <laughs> and all of ours. I know, so long as it's kept cool and dry. <laughs> uh, the uh, print was made at PhotoCamp, their great film lab uh, out in LA, um, and we used Paramount's best uh, film elements to make it. Um, it was an entirely photochemical process, um, so it uh, did not go through any digital steps and looks uh, very, very close to how it would have on its original release. Um, we were pleasantly surprised um, also uh, to learn that it has uh, the original soundtrack. Um, so there is uh, a song uh, during the roller derby, derby sequence, uh, which was swapped out for video and subsequent releases. Um, but this is uh, the original. The original song plays in our print, uh, and it's a very good one. And so we'll enjoy that. Um, before the film, um, we have a short subject um, that comes to us from the Chicago Film Archives. It's part of a document documentary series um, that was made around the time of the 68 DNC. Um, this one's called People's Right to Know, Police versus Reporters. Uh, it's a really great, gritty uh, documentary series uh, that really is it's like a total first-hand document of what was going on at the time. Um, there was a lot, you know, a lot of cameras around uh, during this time, and this is sort of, um, you know, the, in, the independent side of that. Um, this film was used, uh, or intended to be used as an educational film, um, like in schools. Um, so I'm, I'm thrilled to be able to show it to like 700 people in a theatrical setting. Um, so that's, that's going to be about 14 minutes, and then uh, we'll go into the feature.